Hey, Mark Rice here. On this channel you can find a lot of different things, but I have got so many requests for animation tutorial, so I decided to focus on that in the next period. And if you want to become a mighty motion designer, easy and fast, be sure to stay tuned. So let's start. Okay, so as you can see here, I have the background layer, I have the coin and the glow. So first I will animate the glow. Select the glow layer, hit P on the keyboard for the position settings, create the first keyframe on the first frame, then go on the last frame and move the glow here. Okay, so for now I have movement like this. I can change the opacity for the glow, so select the glow layer, okay, hit T on the keyboard for the opacity and it can be 50. Okay, cool. And now I need to delete everything outside the coin. So select the coin layer or duplicate it with Ctrl plus D. Move it here and you can rename it. Okay, beautiful. Then select the glow layer, go here and choose alpha matte mask. Beautiful. Okay, beautiful. Now everything is ready for the 3D movement. So select the mask layer, hold shift, then select the glow layer and the coin as well. Click with the right mouse button, go here and choose pre-composition. Coin. Okay, cool. And now as you can see, I can move this anchor point in the middle of the coin. Okay, that's it. For the next step, you will need this 3D icon here. And you can turn off and turn on with F4 on the keyboard. Okay, so click here. Then hit P on the keyboard for the position settings. Right mouse button and choose separate dimensions. Okay, beautiful. Then go here on the Z position. Hold Alt, click the stopwatch icon and here type index minus one. It means when I duplicate the coin layer, every new layer will be minus one pixel from the old one. So we can do that with control plus D command. Something like this. Beautiful. Okay. And here we can switch from active camera to camera view one. And as you can see, I got my coin. It will be much better if I change the color for the outline. So select the second layer, click with the right mouse button, then go effect, then here generate and pick up fill. Okay, now here in effects control, use color for that part. Okay, beautiful. Now select the fill, copy it with control plus C and here select all coin layers except the first one and the last one and paste the fill with control plus V. If you want to add more space for the coin here, just select the second layer. Okay, and duplicate it with control plus D. Okay. That's it. Now we can back our view to active camera. And now I will show you how to rotate the coin. But before that, I will create the null object. So click with the right mouse button, new, and uh, pick up null object. Okay, then select all the coin layers and parent it with the null object. Okay, select the null object and turn off the 3D icon, something like this. Okay, here I can change the anchor point as well. Okay, something like this. Beautiful. Then hit P on the keyboard for the null object. Click with the right mouse button to separate dimensions. Now hit R on the keyboard for the rotation settings. Here on the first frame, create the first keyframe and here type 1. 
It means that for this time the coin will rotate one time. Okay, so let me check. As you can see, it's beautiful and basically that's it. Okay, as I said before, this is just the first tutorial in a row. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Peace. Thank you.